Muhammad. He says, I suffer from depression and it makes me have suicidal thoughts. I know how bad it is in Islam. Would you give me some tips on how to escape it? Depression is an illness. It's a feeling. And there are psychiatrists who have diagnosed this illness and put its symptoms in a very long list and they said that if you have like four of these then you should seek medical attention and from an Islamic perspective Islam looks at it from both angles first angle is the cause of it and each person's depression differs from the other so one might be caused because of marital problems financial problems maybe the children in the home he's unable to straighten them up his problems at work with the bosses or with the colleagues his problems with himself or herself not having the self-esteem self-confidence and so on there's there can be many reasons your past your sins that are overwhelming you and in order to be able to treat this we always ask the brothers and sisters who feel depressed to strengthen their Iman why is that see brother Muhammad says he has suicidal thoughts now a Muslim never gets these thoughts at all because he knows the consequences of such an action so for example if someone is in debt and someone wants from him his money he would be doing something illogical if he goes and borrows with a higher interest rate riba from someone who would break his knees for example if he doesn't pay on time this is illogical so when you have so many problems and you kill yourself and you know that Allah will throw you in hell and that the torment of hell is so severe and and and, and, and serious and painful that one second in it would not be or cannot be compared to what you're suffering on earth this is nothing this is child's play so as a Muslim if you have strong conviction if you believe in Allah if you believe in the Quran if you believe in the Sunnah if you believe that Allah Azza wa Jal has preordained everything before the creation of the universe 50,000 years ago and that Allah is most knowledgeable and Allah is most wise and Allah Azza wa Jal is most merciful then you should know whatever is happening to you that this is from Allah and your belief tells you to feel calm and to get the tranquility because once you look at the great messengers and prophets of Allah once you look at the great scholars of the Salaf and the torments and the tribulations and the calamities they had been afflicted with and you compare this to yours you know that Alhamdulillah you are in great favors and blessings of Allah Azza wa compared to them so this helps a lot to remove your depression and thinking logically helps a lot as well if Allah Azza wa Jal were to afflict me with a calamity now let me see the different scenarios I can choose from scenario number one I could bang my head in the wall and cry all night long for my loss or for my calamity the result nothing a very big scar maybe few stitches and an awful headache 
but my calamity will remain. Nothing would change. Scenario number two. I could keep on complaining to people. Allah did this to me. Allah did this to me. And look what happened. Why people are not uh, uh, suffering as I am. Why these disbelievers or this, these sinful people are not being afflicted like I am. And again, your calamity will not change. However, you will get more and more sins. Scenario number three is that you are content. And if not content, at least you are patient. Content is a higher, higher lever, level. See, you must be patient. You do not complain. Whatever happens, alhamdulillah, I'll try my level best to solve the problem, to get rid of such a calamity or tribulation. But if I'm unable, alhamdulillah, this is what Allah had decreed upon me. What can I do? Nothing. And here is the difference between a believer and someone who does not have the full conviction in Islam. This person is highly rewarded at the side of Allah. And he is elevated in paradise as time goes on. And he's patient. If he adds to that content, when people ask him, how do you feel today? And he's suffering, yet he says, Alhamdulillah, I am fine, everything is fine. He's content, he's patient, he never complains. Then Allah Azza wa Jal would reward him, Allah would love him, and most likely Allah Azza wa Jal would find him a way out of that calamity. Because it was a test and this person passed the test. The other two failed to pass the test. Therefore, you have to look into your depression and ask yourself a few questions. Is this self-imposed or was it suggested by shaitan, by Satan, trying to depress me, trying to sadden me, trying to make my life miserable and the lives of those around me? You will find that this is from shaitan. And Allah described this in the Quran in different locations, telling us that such intimidation is from shaitan, such sadness is from shaitan, such worries and whispers are from shaitan. So the best thing for you to do is to put your dependence and your reliance on Allah Azza wa Feel confident in Allah. Trust Allah Azza wa Jal. When you hold a child, an infant, and you toss the infant in the air, what does the infant do? He laughs its head off. Why? Because he trusts that you're going to grab him. If someone tosses me in the air, I'm going to cry like crazy because I don't trust that person. So you should, and Allah has the highest example, of course, you should trust Allah Azza wa Jal, and this would relieve you from all types of depression you are suffering from, insha'Allah.